Okay guys, day four of flip circles, we are on our way. The skill you're working on today is connotation. Now I don't know if you will have heard this word before. This means the emotion that a word conveys in addition to its actual meaning. So we can look up a word in the dictionary and know what it means, but words also have emotions that go with them. You want to know the connotation of a word because it helps you interpret the description you're hearing about. Um, and let me show you an example of that. I've got two words here. I've got miserly and I've got frugal. They mean the same thing. They mean someone who doesn't spend a lot of money. But one of them is really positive and one of them is really negative to say about somebody. So I can say, Amanda's miserly ways will allow her to live comfortably for the rest of her life. Now that means, you know, she's stingy. She's not going to share her money. She's not going to donate to anything. She's just going to hoard all her money for herself. That's really negative to say she's miserly. It means she's not going to spend a lot of money, but it's negative. Or I could say, Amanda's frugal ways will allow her to live comfortably for the rest of her life. Frugal makes me think, oh, she's saving, she's keeping track of her money, she's not spending it on silly things. That's a really positive thing to say about somebody. But the words mean the same thing, and they have very different emotion attached to them. That's why it's really important to know the emotional connotation of a word. Let's see if you can figure these out. So I could say somebody's lying, or I could say they're embellishing the truth. The more negative one would be to say, oh, they're lying. That makes me think it's really malicious, on purpose. Embellishing the truth is kind of more innocent and neutral. Um, I could say, oh, I've got a really nosy neighbor, or I have a really curious neighbor. I think nosy is more negative. It makes me think they're going to get in my business. It's going to be really intrusive. If they're curious, like they're just interested in me and want to know about my life and are, are um, you know, maybe asking me questions, that's a much more positive way to say that. If you continue on down this list. Let's see if we can figure this out here. Okay, so we've got gaze, look, or stare. Someone is gazing at me across the room. Someone is looking at me across the room. Someone is staring at me across the room. The most negative of these, let's start with negative, I would say is stare. That feels kind of threatening, like, why are you staring at me? It's kind of scary. Um, a more positive way to say that would be gaze. That feels like, oh, maybe they want to be my friend, or maybe they love me, they're gazing at you. Or, to be very neutral, you could say they're looking at me. That one does not have a positive or neutral connotation. It just means they're looking at you, right? What about these words? Spy, watch, observe. Think about these in sentences. Which one would be the most negative to say about somebody? I'm going to go with spy. That makes me think they're sneaky, okay? A positive way to say that would be observe. Maybe they're um, noticing details or they're paying close attention as they're observing something. The more neutral way to say that would just be to say they're watching. Okay? Continuing on, if somebody is asking, or sorry, requesting, demanding, or asking, which one of these is the most negative way to say something? It'd be negative to say someone is demanding. It feels like, well, you don't have any manners, right? You're just demanding. If you wanted to be more positive, you could say it's a request. That sounds very polite. That sounds like you're being respectful. And a neutral way to say that is just to say ask. You're asking for this. Do we see how these words, I mean, even if we haven't used them a lot ourselves, you can kind of tell what connotation each of these has. We got one more. Um, interested, nosy, or curious. We kind of went over this. Remember, curious is a positive way to say it. They're just, they're just wanting to know what's going on. Being interested is pretty neutral. And being nosy, now that's not something you want to be, right? That's pretty negative. Um, all right, so on your reader sheet today, on the back of it you have your connotation page. You are going to pick three words out of the text that you think are connotative, that have an emotional meaning to go with them. Give me the sentence you found it in, and then say, you know, you know, this word here, circle it or underline it, is positive. It shows a positive connotation, and here's how I know. Or I think it's really negative, and here's how I know. I've given you an example here, but I want you to come up with three more yourselves. Don't forget to put your books back when you're done. <laughs>